understand how we can achieve bit rotation in uh, assembly language using 8051 microcontroller. So there are two instructions which we are going to use. One is RL which is rotate left and one is RR that is rotate right. Both of these instructions they operate on accumulator. So if I write something like this RL space A what does it mean? It means rotates the contents of accumulator by one bit on the left side right so let us suppose that a has the value of 0 1 h right so what does this mean this 0 indicates four zeros and this one indicates 0 0 0 1 right so accumulator in this case if i draw it 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 0 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 0 it will be 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 right this will be the content which are going to be stored in the accumulator if i execute rl a instruction on accumulator then the bits are going to be shifted on the left side like this right so every bit will be shifted one position on the left and the last one will be shifted back to the first position right is this clear so now the contents of accumulator will be 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 what does this mean this means 0 2 h because these four zeros will be 0 and this one will be 2. So now the contents of accumulator will be 0 to h, right? So executing this RLA is not going to affect any flag of PSW register, carry, zero flag, auxiliary carry, no flag will be affected by this rotate instruction RLA, right? It's just simple rotation which is taking place by one bit position on the left side and then cycling back the data right in a similar way rra operates that is rotate right the contents of accumulator by one bit position right so suppose your accumulator has data 80h this can be easily loaded like move a comma hash 80h that's it. So that's how you put accumulator, uh, the data of ATH, put data in the accumulator ATH. So now if, if I write RRA, rotate, write the contents of accumulator, the situation is depicted over here. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. So this is 80, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Now you are going to rotate it on the right side, which means every bit is going to be shifted by one bit position on the right. And the last one now will be cycled back over here. So now the contents will be 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So this indicates 0, 1, 2. So this indicates 4 and this indicates 0. So now the contents will be 4, 0, H right so this will be the content in the accumulator that is 40h right and again no flag is going to be affected through this instruction rra both rla and rra are not going to affect any flag it's just that bits are going to be shifted by one bit position on the left if you execute rla and they are going to be shifted on the right if you execute rra these two instructions will be used for achieving the bit rotation functionality right and uh, in the later examples we will be using these instructions for blinking the leds in a certain pattern where you will have port 2 connected to the led section and uh, the leds will be blinking one by one right so so if we say p2.7 till p2.0 initially let us say this led is high and rest of the leds are at logic low then later on the pattern will be something like this 
and then after a certain delay the pattern will be something like this and so on so you'll be seeing that rotation on leds and uh, we'll be writing the program in assembly language executing it in keel environment creating hex file and uploading it onto the controller for verification purpose so i hope these two instructions are clear to you all rotate left the contents of accumulator and rotate right the contents of accumulator by one bit position so now let us write the assembly code uh, for for these two uh, instructions and verify them on the hardware so this is our code which we have written for the rotate operation rotate left right quickly uh, recap of the code what we have written uh, org 000h is for starting the program right so it is uh, the first line that we generally put in uh, assembly language programming of 8051 microcontroller then we jump to the main right uh, when we jump to the main the first thing which we have done is like clearing the state of the port 2 which means all the pins of port 2 will be cleared right then we have used accumulator and we have moved a value of 01 H in that so which means that only the LSB the least significant bit of accumulator will be logic high and rest the pin or rest of the bits of accumulator will be at logic low right so after that we have shifted uh, we have shifted the contents of accumulator into port 2 which means moving the contents of accumulator into port 2 so port 2 initially was 0 after execution of this particular instruction port 2 will have accumulator value which means 0 1 H right so P 2.0 will go to logic high and rest of the pins of port 2 uh, ranging from P 2.1 to P 2.7 will remain at logic low level right and then we have called the delay subroutine and this delay subroutine is going to generate a delay of close to one second once it comes out of the delay then we have used a very very special instruction it's rl space a it is rotate left the contents of accumulator right so the contents of accumulator will be will be rotated which means shifting of the bits will take place uh, by by one bit position right so initially the contents were 0 1 H right and once we rotate the contents of accumulator using RLA instruction then then it becomes like uh, for the very first time it will be like 0 2 H right uh, when when this instruction will be executed again it will be 0 4 H uh, when it will be executed again it will be 0 8 H right so one uh, will be shifted uh, right with with every instruction of RLA getting executed, uh, the position of 1 will be shifted to the left by 1 bit position, right? So this is RLA and then we have used short jump to the label H1, right? And where is H1? Here it is, which means now the, the shifted contents of accumulator will be moved to port 2, right? So initially it was 0, 1, right? And then it will become 0 2 because 1 will be shifted to uh, uh, the B1 position if, if we take the position let us say uh, from from B0 to B7 then initially uh, B0 was 1 right and remaining uh, bits were 0 right this is what we have initially and then once this instruction was executed uh, B0 will become 0 and B1 will become 1 and this will lead to uh, the accumulator value becoming 0 to H in hexadecimal right it will become 0 to H and so on I mean after every RLA getting executed the bits are gonna rotate by one bit position on the left and you will have a new value in the accumulator right so it will be like 0 1 H to start off with then 0 2 H then you will have 0 4 H 
right so what will be the next value it will be 0 8 h then it will be 1 0 h then 2 0 h then 4 0 h and then it will be 8 0 h and the process is going to repeat right so this is how this entire shifting is taking place and you will be having new value stored in accumulator every time you will have RLA getting executed right so is this clear this 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 part I hope this 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 thing is clear to all uh, so with every RLA getting executed you will have bit rotation taking place right and you will have a new value in the accumulator we will be jumping to the label h1 h1 contains an instruction move p2 comma a which means moving the contents of accumulator onto the port 2 and then calling the delay so you will be having shifting of the bits taking place and if you have leds connected onto port 2 you will see them glowing in a particular way right so initially only one LED is gonna glow and then uh, with RLA getting executed the position of the LED which is in the on state will change right so initially if if you have P2.0 glowing then after first time RLA is getting executed P2.1 will glow second time P2.2 will glow then P2.3 and so on and this process is going to repeat this process is going to repeat right so this is how this entire program is working you already are familiar with the delay routine so I, I hope this is quite clear to you and every assembly program has to be in between ORG and end so ORG we have used right at the top and the program is having end directive over here right so this is how the bit rotation is taking place so let us now quickly uh, uh, do the debugging of this particular code. Uh, I have already uh, done various settings which are required to be done like crystal frequency uh, creating the hex file with with the name of rotate underscore left and I just need to compile this code and I build this one there's no error no warning I'll go to debug I'll click on start stop debugging session right and my port 2 is right now here right so I'll go to debug and I will click on run so you can see that bits are shifting on the left right so this shifting is going to take place on the hardware when you will be uploading this particular hexadecimal file that you have created onto the onto the microcontroller development board right so I hope this this thing is giving you a clear indication how this uh, this bit rotation is taking place right so now let's move out of the debugging session by stopping the program and again clicking on the start stop button we are back so the next step would be uh, to upload the hexadecimal file onto the microcontroller board and watch the live output on the leds which are connected to port 2 right so let us now do that part and see whether uh, we have coded it in the right way or not right so so let's let's try that one so now let us upload the hex file for bit rotation on the left uh, using flash magic software so let us launch the flash magic software uh, once we launch this one uh, the settings have to be done like selecting right com port selecting the baud rate as 9600 bps quickly uh, I'll browse uh, the next file rotate underscore left right and uh, I'll, I'll, I'll click on the reset button on the hardware and click on start attempting to connect and resetting the device into the ISP mode so you can see it is verifying and now it is finished the program is successfully uploaded onto the controller board so now let's analyze the output on the hardware So now I'm connecting the cable on port 2. The other end of the cable I am connecting on to the LED section and now pressing the reset you can see that now the bits are rotating 
in the left direction. This signifies the LEDs for for port two, right? Because we have connected the the, the wire on port two, right? So this particular connector is connected to port two, and you will see that LEDs are shifting on the left side, right? And this is in sync with the code that we have written. So I hope you have learned the concepts of bit rotation. So thanks a lot for watching the video and stay tuned for more updates. Thank you. Thank you all.